Hi, it's Charlie Newley, Arts Director of Court Theater. Hope everyone is staying safe, well, and strong in their homes. We just wanted to share with you today another one of these classics in context videos to talk a little bit about commissions, why we're a classic-based uh, theater company, why uh, commissioning new work is such an important part of what we do. I mean, essentially, uh, it, it goes back to how we think about classics, because while we're embedded in the world of classics, we think about what are the productions that we're doing that we take a classic text as if it's a new work, that it's had a whole lot of production history, <laughs> right? So when two years ago we uh, did the world premiere of a commission uh, for both uh, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein with the extraordinary company Manual Cinema, and then we did the world premiere of David Auburn's adaptation of the Saw Bellow novel, The Adventures of Augie March. This was an example of how to take a classic text and treat it as if it was a new work. Um, the exciting part about tackling a 400 page novel with over 60 characters and three plus hours of text with David Auburn, the playwright, was we knew we needed a lot of collaborators and a lot of different ways of telling story. And so we're gonna show you a videotape, which I think you'll get a little bit of some sense of this. And for those of you who remember the production, of course, um, we had a number of collaborators in addition to Dave as the adapter, uh, specifically the uh, former members of the Pina Bausch Dance Theater Company uh, from Germany and our dear friends from Manual Cinema, uh, the Shadow Puppetry Company, um, uh, helped us uh, figure out how to uh, tap into more tools to tell this story uh, that was such a sprawling American epic as um, uh, Augie March. So let's roll the tape and I'll maybe I'll chat a little bit as it goes. One image steps out in front to lead the rest and, and can impose its claim of being genuine with more force than others or, or one voice enlarged to thunder is heard above others. This is Patrick Mulvey as Augie March. A huge invention. You see the shadow puppetry behind him. Maybe the invention of the world itself becomes the actual world. And that's the struggle of humanity. Yes. To recruit others to your invention. Your version of what's real. But the invented things never become real for you. Because I can't stay with my purity. Because to arrive at the purest thing is terrifying. This is a critical moment for me. Terror is what the feeble humanity of us can't stand for long. So you run. I run. To whomever would give you cover from this mighty free running terror and wild cold of chaos. Yes. Because this is the first time the character makes a decision about from here on, defining himself. I set the course. From and we knew we had to find the grandest way possible for this monumental transitional moment. Hey! I'm here! And this idea of I'm here. I am I who I am. I'm here. So now watch, we, through all of the skills and all of the design and all of the uh, uh, various aspects into this transitional moment. company of actors doing everything. And I always wanted this moment to happen a little sooner, but there it goes. <laughs> and this is the first time we've seen any color. I'm an American, Chicago born. Of course, that's the most iconic line from the novel. Uh, so you see how we brought movement and shadow puppetry and the extraordinary design by John Colbert. The, that gold panel in the back uh, is such a beautiful transitional moment for the entire production. In fact, those panels now live in many of a court theater home because we all love the, the, the feel of that. So um, I just want to therefore just sort of give some context about the ways we think about commissions. And as we're looking ahead now um, into uh, our future work, where we have a number of commission projects in process, um, what we learn from the movement work with the Pina Bausch company, which you saw just a little bit of it in that clip, 
uh, clearly we brought forward into our Oedipus Rex production in which the chorus, uh, which normally speaks four or five odes, uh, we took all of that text away and told story through movement because of what we'd learned from Pina Bausch and Augie March, uh, uh, so that the choruses were all done without text and was done mostly through physical gesture. Um, it was a just an absolute transitional, transformational moment for me as a director, because I'm such a text heavy guy. I mean, that's my, that's, I'm, a, I'm a text geek, if you will. Uh, I often think that, you know, the definition of the quality of our work is our dramaturgy and the quality of the text. But to learn how uh, might movement, uh, I feel like such a neophyte about this, but to learn how movement can tell story in such a complex way uh, was so thrilling. And now as we look ahead, and I guess specifically I wanted to mention um, some thinking we're doing around Othello, which uh, Corte will be producing in this upcoming season, we hope, we assume. Um, how might the movement work that we developed from Augie that went into Rex now find its next iteration in doing a production of Othello, which if you know that text very well, I mean, it just swirls around. It doesn't really sit in any one location except for the first act. And how might we cast a small compressed tight company of six or eight, I'm not sure yet, uh, in which the kind of emotional impact of that extraordinary tragedy of Shakespeare's can be told through that a glorious text combined with the kind of movement work that is our next iteration and expression of um, how to tell story. So in some ways, it's I think appropriate to say that again, we're looking at Othello as a classic text, but we're treating it as if it were a new work and how might we tell it in the best way possible through all of the skills that we've learned through the course of doing commissioned work. So commissioning is really a wonderful lifeblood and, and challenging uh, uh, ambition for court theater. So I'm just super excited to share with you some sense of that journey and how we wanna bring that kind of ambition of commission work, uh, continue to bring that forward in the work that we do at court. Thank you all for listening. Thank you for uh, uh, joining me for this. Uh, please, 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 everybody stay safe, stay well, stay strong and wash your hands. Thank you.